Japanese players petitioned Ubisoft to cancel Assassin's Creed Shadows, accused the game of being a serious insult to Japanese culture and history. So basically, I watched the video. There is a guy. I'm not sure if he's going to post if it's in here. But basically, this guy right over here, he went through the entire thing. And he uh, he's from Japan. I believe he's living in the States now. And he basically said that this is a, basically a slap to Japanese culture and how they don't care about the culture and that the things are wrong. And uh, basically, how, why are the American companies calling the Japanese people racist when they're basically pointing out facts? Right. It's like, why is that? Right. <laughs> Yasuke is pronounced yes gay <laughs> right and basically saying that like you have a guy that's over here and then like I I'm basically going to gloss it because it's a long video he basically goes over and talks about like how that this lady there's a lady right over here in this video that works at Ubisoft saying that how like they did a lot of extensive research on this character and how they're trying to make it look as accurate as possible and then like the first thing that he brings up is like one of the scenes over here where like some of the flowers are different, right? Uh, I think it's right here. Like, oh, it's supposed to be during springtime. This is not supposed to be here. Soccer is supposed to be during springtime. This is fall. Some, some, you know, small things. And then he goes on and talks about how um, Wikipedia basically updated its um, its website because uh, originally Yasuke was not considered a samurai. But if you actually go to the Wikipedia now, you would consider a samurai. And he says that how Nobunaga uh, died is by seppuku. Honorable hit, honorable death instead of getting killed in battle, right? So usually, if you are, if if you're, you know, he's basically a um a retainer for him, and if he is a true samurai, he would have seppuku himself as well, but he didn't. Yasuke fled like a coward. So there's no honor in that. Didn't he have a nickname, or am I thinking something different? I don't like, remember. I thought he, um, because there was an there's an an anime that did the uh nobunaga like i'm saying that wrong i think but they did they, there's an anime about oda nobunaga and they had mm. a person that was supposed to be yasuke and i think they, they yeah it they was gave a him the, netflix show it was a netflix an, uh, anime and they gave they gave him neck a nickname and i don't want to say the nickname because that could be bad they gave him a nickname <laughs> um in japanese that meant something i'm like are we going to be called that in the game because um something tells me there's gonna be some dialogue choices where you're not going to be called things that would probably been what he would have been called yeah in that time period yeah so uh, it's just like he goes through all of this thing saying that how like you know like um he basically goes to japan and ends up killing a bunch of people like how he's like basically like right over here uh, we were first looking for someone who could be our samurai in other words someone who could become our eyes despite not being japanese which is appropriating different cultures right like as as a person who lives in you know in the united states we appropriate all other different cultures because we're a melting pot but the thing is that they flat out said that we are going to put our samurai in there and appropriate your characters and it's like, how can you be? And they're saying that if you say, if you are against us, you are racist. There's a lot of Japanese people like this guy saying, calling this out, saying that this is racist, right? You are, this is not good, right? So, Gray, how, how do you feel about this so far, man? Like, what, what people are saying and what this guy had, what, what did this guy say, basically? Yeah, it'll be interesting to see the discourse and sales numbers of this game in Japan in particular, given how strongly resentful people are there rightfully so to the towards the game mm -hmm. and is it going to stop it from being released no i we're going to talk about we're probably going to talk about the signatures but that's not going to do shit it's still going to release worldwide but how how it's going to impact japanese uh sales in japan is what we would we all want to know like what what jap what youtubers like him are going to say how the game sales or uh how will they perceive the vid the game itself? The Let's say the game is kind of good, good, mid to good in terms of gameplay wise. I mm. think most of them are just gonna say, no, it's 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 a shitty game because just because simply because they decided to go this route. Yeah. The thing is with it's like with Ubisoft, this was a long requested feature or setting for Assassin's Creed for the longest time. All mm. they had to do was like 
bring in a Jap, a legit Japanese samurai, or maybe a Japanese woman too, if they wanted to go for the diversity route. And that's it. It would have been a gang. It would have sold gangbusters in Japan alone. But they decided to go ESG for some reason for this one. I think if they did ESG for any other setting, it would have been fine. But they had to choose. They really had to choose Japan, where they didn't really have to. Where the setting itself was already the selling point of the game. Yeah. Um, I think they actually fixed the Wikipedia back. I've back? been reading. I, well, it's now protected until September 20th, 2024. And I'm reading through and he and all I'm seeing with them call him is a bodyguard was granted honor of being a sword bearer. And he was a vassal. I am not seeing right now on here and I'm looking I'm reading through them to use the word samurai. They might have changed it back because of this video. They, I think, because he I, actually I think, quotes it. He quotes it right over here. No, I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm just yeah. saying. I think. I think that's why there is a lock on it. So this is unable to edit. Art- oh. Article seventy semi protected until September twentieth, twenty twenty four, which I so, believe is the release date. The release of, of the, the game? game. I think. I think. I could be wrong. Wow. I, I, so I'm, I'm looking the- through here, and it says granted, granted a servant house, a stipend. I'm just reading through the whole article. The, the oh. Jesuit stuff's all right. So, yeah, I, I get the feeling that lock is gonna get extended. It's coming out on November 15th. So, oh. it's like, <laughs> so and I, I, I imagine the sooner it closes, it's closing in on the release date. They're gonna be churning out more videos, so people are gonna be I, more vocal about it. So they're probably I'm gonna just, extend that. I'm just glad that they switched it back to being the facts of what he yes. was. So whoever went in there. If it was Wikipedia, some of themselves or whatever it is, and went back and changed it, good on them for having it be historically accurate and going through and change it. I'm seeing nothing. I've just read through the whole like the whole thing. I'm seeing nothing that terms him as samurai in this. Um, number one, I was very impressed by USK and it's asked Velagrino to give him over. He gave him over the Japanese Josuke, sect an attendant as an attendant. First mm-hmm. record for the title. All right, so let's see if it changes on me um, later on because I don't trust Wikipedia. Yeah, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, so so this guy is going through. Um, I, I I'll share this uh this uh this YouTube channel so you guys can check uh, check it out. So you, if you guys want to watch it in its entirety, uh, basically this, this he's going through the comments and saying that right over here, uh, one person said discriminating against Asians to elevate black people is wrong. Right, basically calling it out and basically. The developers are saying, if you guys are saying this, you guys are racist. So yeah, it's um, I think a lot of people are just tired. Yeah. Like, why don't we have to be ca- actually, uh, right? Yeah, yeah actually, it's yeah. I I remember now. It's like I I I play a lot of Dynasty slash Samurai Warriors games, and the thing is, they did it making him an actual not even samurai, just warrior is fine. Mm-hmm. Look, because like I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you a Wikipedia a wiki link. I'll send it to the private private yeah. chat. Yeah. So I used I play Samurai Warriors Five. So the the game is focused on the story of Nobunaga and his rise to power. So it starts off with him in his young age, and then in the final chapters of the game, it's his um the final battle before he dies. So look, one of the characters is actually Yasuke. Yeah, right so here. Yasuke. No, first... no, nobody made a big deal about it, but because he's not really the prominent person in that point in time which is what assassin's creed shadows is making it out to be and the thing and the thing is that right it doesn't say anything about him being a samurai yeah right yasuke first appeared in the uh as a unique playable character in samurai warriors 5 arriving in japan from the foreign country yasuke joins uh nobunaga oda's army and and mastered the japanese language doesn't say that he became a samurai because that's that would be historically false Right, and this guy even talks about it. Yeah. There's nothing in old yeah. scripture, and even he goes to like the Japanese, uh, I believe, wiki for the character. Uh, right, uh, basically, right over here. So, uh, he's reading it right here. He says, right, right over here, Yasuke was a man of African origin who served as a samurai. And of course, there's this thing that says this little box is over here that says under discussion to the Japanese daimyo uh, Oda Nobunaga for the, the 15th month. And then he basically looks in the Japanese version of it, and he basically says it's not even present in the scriptures. 
Yeah. So and, and, uh, yeah, right up here. Yeah. And g- credits to Koi Tecmo, like the Yasuke character you play in that game, he's use he's using his fists. He's not using a sword. So, yeah. so it's kind of more respectful. Yeah. So the thing is that like, so this guy is, I, I believe if you go down to these comments right over here, like a lot of people are actually like very upset. Like I'm, so I basically translated these already. These are originally in, in uh, Japanese. So uh, I'm a Neki Jin in America. Uh, what bothers me too is that the video game media journalists in the West really hated Ghost of Tsushima saying that it was racist because white Westerners made a Japanese game and that was historically inaccurate due to the anachronisms Yet, when Assassin's Creed Shadows tra- uh, trailer came out, those same video game journalists praise it for being diverse and that it's a large historical inaccuracies aren't a big deal. If it's not a big deal, then why did you change it? Right? That's the huge thing. If it's not a big deal, why change it? So, another thing, uh, what happened was that I... I'll go ahead and share this. Uh, I'll share this link right over here with you guys. But there's also another one right over here. And this one is a four-minute song that a guy did i believe his name is cabbage and he basically made a song about assassin's creed shadow and it's, in, it's all sung in japanese and it's all it just, this is the lyrics right over here and a lot of people saying how good it, it is it actually sounds really good too is there a cc translation in english no there or isn't we- How, however Grums comes in handy with the translation right over here, right? So it's basically, isn't that Yasuke? Yasuke is a samurai protagonist, even if he's an assassin. Uh, Asakuri, who had no real people, it's is it his first time is being staged in Japan. We are uh UBI uh sunshine, but that uh, what should I do? Japan has a deep history, difficult historical research. The dear child came in here. According to them, future games will include black people are essential. That is why I thought I changed the history and the style of the gunfight formation Samurai Nobunaga Akechi. Yasuke happened to be there. That's all we got. Everybody lights up. Good luck with your historical research. People who go out of their way to learn about Japan. Shadows made behind the scenes. If released, it would be uh, inundated with criticism. What should I do, Yasuke? Make him gay? And meet Nobunaga and Hori. Uh, Yasuke's pride in Japan. Tatami mats are square. R- rice is harvested in the spring. And incense is burned at altars. All samurai stand without respect. We, UBI, will be immortal forever. Even though it's uh, Asakuri and the samurai protagonist is still amazing. Hire an expert who knows Japanese history. As a result of searching various uh, literatures, books, and novels, Yasuke isn't that great, is he? So we filled in the blanks with our history but what should i do is a difficult concept art mr elon musk came in here according to him diversity loves art no no shadows is the best asakuri ever and that's radical uh, sorry rhetorical i'm sorry elon from ceo ubi shut up but also elon hides like china is doing something wrong here chinese subtitles even though it's for japan ai generated concept art yes yes we who burn are already unknown. If released, it would be inundated with criticism. What should I do, Yasuke? Sorry that UBI has Yasuke. Don't lick me, Elon. I'm I'm sure if this is correct. Uh, shut up. You hide like uh, you hide like. Make no mistake here. Chinese subtitles, even though it's for Japan. When it is released, it was inundated with criticism. What should I do, Yasuke? Make him gay and meet Nobunaga and Hori. Yasuke's pride in Japan in the harvest is square. Rice is harvested in the spring. Incense is burned at altars. All samurai stand without honor. We UBI will never die. So basically, that's the actual translation. I believe he got it right over here. He basically copied this entire thing and probably brought it over. Uh, this entire thing right over here and brought it over to Google Translate. I'm not sure if that's correct, but I'll, I'll play like a couple of seconds of it. It sounds really good. Like it sounds, it sounds good. Of course, it, not knowing what they're saying makes it sound even cooler, in my opinion. <laughs> so let me play this real, real quick. Yes, can I Damn, it's so, it sounds fucking good. I don't know what they're yeah. saying, but now that I know the 
the actual like translation. Like this guy did an amazing job, right? And and he's like, it, and he basically he's like, if people are mad, I'll remove this video. But like this is really, I'll, I'll go ahead and share this one as well. Like this is such, this is a banger. Like I will probably like I don't even know what this guy is saying originally. And I listened to it right before like we went live. I'm like, this sounds really, really good. But what do you guys think about like, like the folks in Japan, even Japan are calling them out. Like, how do you feel that? Like, do you think that Ubisoft will make changes? Do you think that they will go back? Like, um, huh. what think, do you guys think? I think, it's too, I think it's too late for them to do that now. But it's like maybe moving forward. But I think this is a product of their performance during the past several years because like it's because they took the DEI funding from BlackRock, State Street, Vanguard, etc. Which is why they ended up having to do this. Like, oh, we need to take more checkboxes to be eligible for the interest-free loan. So <laughs> it was it, it just turns out it was this game that got the boot, even though it didn't need to. It's mm -hmm. like they could they should have just done it with another game, in my opinion. Uh, so, in another game, or at least what one, one not said in Japan. So I was kind of lurid. So I looked at the sources for the Wikipedia thing and all that, and it seems like a lot of this comes from a book that came out in 2019. Um, it's on Amazon, and a lot of this because there was an article written in 2023 based on the book from 2019, which is African Samurai: The True Story of Yasa uh, Yasuke, a Legendary Black Warrior in Feudal Japan. Um, Thomas Lockerley is the author and so is jeffrey gerard it seems mm -hmm. like a lot of what the article from the smithsonian magazine which is another one sourced for the wikipedia stuff is calling him a black samurai as well um so it seems like a lot of that's coming from that and that was 2019 so it's kind of like a little bit before some of this stuff was going on so it could just be a sloppy translation of the writers or a good they they wanted that as the title to try to make uh, people buy it um i don't know the book i'm looking at the reviews and it's people have reviewed it highly like well um it's not it doesn't seem like it has an agenda behind it because i think it was kind of before some of this mm -hmm. um so my question is maybe they're using this book as a reasoning why they could say samurai why didn't go? Why didn't it go to Japan and actually hide like, I, 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 actual I don't history? Know. Right, like that. Like it's so. That's easy what Ghost of Tsushima did. Like Ghost of Tsushima went to Japan and went there and studied stuff. Why didn't they do the same thing? Because they used to do that. Mm -hmm. That was Assassin's Creed's freaking bread and butter. Like think about uh, where the Assassin's Creed Two Italy there. Like how it was pretty much you could go and see. Oh yeah, this was here. This was here. This was here. This was here. They changed weapons out. In the first game, like, oh, that wouldn't be invented yet. Oh, yeah, sorry. Not in the game. No crossbow in the first game. Yeah. In the trailer, out because it wasn't historically accurate. Um, I have no problem with Yasuke being in the game. Yeah. Like, if Yasuke I was in there and they just made it correct, then, first of all, Yasuke, they could have made into the actual assassin instead of it being the samurai, because if he wasn't a sword wielder, but he was a sword holder and carrier mm -hmm. of a sword, they could have given him the hidden blade and had him be the actual assassin. And that would have been a cool concept because he's hiding it from his master. Like, think about mm -hmm. that dynamic there of being, being a guest in the house, so to speak. And you're suddenly burdened with this task of being an assassin. And you can't let Nobunaga know. Like, there's a good story there of, but they wanted to have Asian lady and black guy. As they're gonna be too lead. They they're gonna be fucking for sure. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be having sex. For they, sure, they, she's gonna be like, oh, 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 that's too big. It's a uh, 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 not the one. Chin chin, okay, this okay. Godzilla. That's where Godzilla also, came from. Big, yeah, yeah. Wasn't there was a skit? He's like, oh, big black snake turned into a big black tree. <laughs> I like oh, they they could have made this work. They could have made this concept yep. work, and like it would have been no problem. Do you know? Did any of you play uh, Tenchu? Oh yes, uh, back in the day. Yeah, and they had this one, one, Tenchu Two, Wrath of Heaven. I love that one. They threw the Doctor in there who just used his fist and fought and had a bunch of like little needle things. Like they could have just done that. He could have been like 
just like doing martial arts or something like that and not even had the hidden blade. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.